I think the results were there when you look at, you know, six and two thirds and, you know, um, one on run. But to be honest, uh, he was not locked in. He had a lot of trouble early uh, with his release point. You know, he walked five guys. Um, you're, he's putting up zeros, and you look at a, um, you know, you know, you look at a negative ball strike rate, strike ratio, and you're going, what? You know, it's like, uh, I think, I, I mean, at one point he had 24 balls, 23 uh, strikes. Um, so he struggled, and um, but when he needed to make a, make a pitch, he did, um, and he got back on board and threw enough strikes to, you know, to to get through six and two thirds. Mm-hmm. It, it's uh, it's special. I think uh, you know, for us that have been in in the game for a long time, um, and coaching it it uh, it, it means more because you know the guys that he's passing, and I think the guys that are playing uh, hear the names. You know, the younger kids hear the names, but don't under maybe get the whole um, you know just the whole impact of what this man's doing, and it's. Um, you know, it's fun to watch. Albert's special for a lot of reasons. Uh, probably the most special thing is he's not chasing numbers. He's not chasing guys. He's he's he ch- he's chasing wins. Uh, he wants he wants to do something to help us win, and that's I think the the biggest lesson that these young players can get from Albert. No doubt. Um, I think you can say that about a lot of clubs, but you know uh, those guys need to just play to their potential. They don't have to go above and beyond. Last year, they had incredible seasons for us. Um, we're a better team this year than we were last year. Uh, but we, we, uh, you know, we, we just need those guys to, to play their game. They don't have to go above and beyond. And, um, you know, uh, Albert's been off to a little slow start. Uh, Mike has uh, been where, he, you know, you would expect him to be. Uh, those guys are really important to us. And, you know, the other guys are, uh, you know, have to play their game too. You know, he uh, he he wasn't trying to to walk five guys. Uh, I don't think there was anything in pitch selection. Uh, I think th- it was cold down there. Uh, the balls were a little slick. I think just the nature of the the weather. Um, I know that he was having trouble with his grip, um, but you know, he he did just enough. Well, I think, uh, you know, I, uh, Garrett will get another an extra day coming on the backside of this. Um, he's certainly capable of being, you know, in the 115 range. Um, it ended up being, and, and he was, you know, we were comfortable with the 115, but it ended up because Escobar's at bat might have been a, what, 11, 12 pitch? I don't even know what it was. Uh, you know, and if he had thrown probably six more pitches and he fouled him off, you might have seen a pitching change with a 3-2 count on the hitter, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, but Garrett, um, no, he's, he maintains his stuff. Uh, that's we, it's one thing about Garrett, he'll go from pitch one to pitch 120 if he had to, and you're going to see good stuff. Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, you know, Garrett um, got results tonight. Uh, you know, he's been just like some of the games that he lost early, just one little thing here or there uh, could have made a difference. And, you know, not a lot of run support. Um, but, um, you know, he's going to be there for us. Uh, you, know, I have a, you know, I think we all have a good feeling about where he is right now. It's great for him to get a win. Uh, more importantly, he keeps pitching, pitching um, deep in the games for us. And that's uh, that has to happen for uh, you know for our bullpen to maintain its uh, effectiveness.